Hello children, welcome you all to a brand new chapter of chemistry, physical and chemical changes. So in this chapter, you will learn physical changes, chemical changes, rusting of iron, crystallization. Let's gear up. Take a piece of paper and cut it into pieces. Now, place these pieces of the paper on a table. Can you acquire the original shape of the paper? Is there any change in the property of the paper? Now take another piece of paper and burn it. What do you observe? The paper turns into ash. Can you recover the paper from ash? Is the property of ash and paper same? Try to give the answer of these questions. Here you know we can acquire the original shape of the paper by pasting them together. There is no change in properties of the paper. In the second one, you know you can't recover the paper from ash. The property of ash and paper are entirely different. Now let's classify them into physical change or chemical change. First we will deal with Physical change. Physical changes. Many changes keep occurring around us all the time. Look at the following pictures showing many changes. In the first picture, a girl stretching a rubber band. In the second picture, melting of butter is shown. Notice that there are a few changes in which a substance undergoes a change in shape as in stretching of rubber band, size as the melting of butter and physical state as in melting of butter where the butter changes from solid to liquid state. The properties such as size, shape, color and physical state of a substance are called its physical properties. Changes like stretching a rubber band and melting of butter are physical changes. Here you get a definition of physical change. So let's see it. Physical change, a change in which no new substance is formed. So here we conclude that the changes which undergo change in shape size or state are called physical changes. In a physical change, no new substance is formed. This is a very important characteristic of a physical change. Most physical changes are reversible. That means you can reverse that change. That is, you can get the original product back. These two are the examples of physical change. A girl stretching a rubber band is an example of physical change. Melting of butter is again another example of physical change. To understand physical changes, let us perform some activities. Activity 1. Aim to understand a physical change. Materials required a balloon. Procedure. Take a balloon and inflate it. Note if there is any change in size and shape. Now deflate the balloon. Note if you are able to get back the original size and shape of the balloon. Also note if any new substance is formed when you inflate or deflate the balloon. I hope you all can give answer to these two questions. You will get the original size back. And no new substance is formed as you inflate or deflate the balloon. So here is the observation. The size and shape of the balloon change on inflating and deflating but no new substance is formed. Here I hope you all know the word used for getting back the original shape and size of the balloon. Yes, you all are correct. It is reversible. The conclusion, inflating and deflating a balloon 
are physical changes. I hope you all agree with this. Let's perform another activity. Activity 2. Aim to find out if stretching a spring is a physical change. Materials required a spring. Procedure. Take a spring and stretch it. Observe a change in its size and shape. Now release the spring gently. Observe its shape and size again. Notice if any new substance is formed on stretching or releasing the spring. Observation The spring undergoes a change in shape and size. No new substance is formed. Can you guess which type of change is it? Yes, you all are correct. Stretching or releasing a spring is a physical change. Let us perform activity 3 for a proper understanding of these changes. Aim to observe a physical change with the help of water. Materials required water, a bowl, a burner and a plate. Procedure Take some water in a bowl and heat it till you see steam rising. Now hold a plate over the rising steam. Notice if any new substance is formed. Observation Water that is in liquid state first gets changed into water vapor. I hope you all have seen boiling of water at your home. The water converts to water vapor that is a gaseous form and then as it is covered with a plate over it, it will convert back into water that is a liquid state. Conclusion There are changes in state of water that is from liquid to gas and again to liquid. Thus, boiling and condensation of water are physical changes. So, you all should know that state change or change in state is a physical change. Let us try to understand which type of change is this. Here the shape of the paper changes. Moreover, there is no new substance formed. So we can conclude that cutting of paper is a physical change. Children, now let's study about the second type of change that is Chemical changes. A change in which two substances come in contact and a new substance is formed. Having different properties is called chemical change. A chemical change cannot be reversed. So it is a very important characteristic of chemical change that is it cannot be reversed. You can't get the original product back. Thus, a chemical change is a permanent change and is irreversible. New word. Chemical change. A change in which a new substance is formed. You can observe chemical changes all the time around you. What happens to the food that you eat? The food that you eat undergo chemical reactions inside your body and changes into new substance. The change is permanent. As you know, you can't get the original food back. Similarly, cooking of food is another example of chemical change. Here are some example of chemical changes. Let's look at them. The first one, cooking of food. As you know, that you can't get the raw material back here which makes it irreversible change and second it creates a new substance it forms a new substance which makes it a chemical change second one growth of plant you can't reverse the process so it is a chemical change curd made from milk again you can't reverse the process and a new substance is formed, making it chemical change. Photosynthesis In photosynthesis, 
the food is formed for plant that is glucose now you can't reverse it back into carbon dioxide water which makes it chemical change and moreover here a new substance is formed that is glucose children these are your back exercise questions so you have to write them in notebook and you will get a pdf file for that now try to answer them first question is inflating a balloon a physical or a chemical change i hope you all know the answer the answer is it is a physical change question number 2 give two examples each of physical and chemical change answer examples of physical change are melting of ice inflating a balloon examples of chemical changes are curd from milk cooking of food more examples of chemical change will be followed in the next video i hope you all enjoyed the video so keep smiling and have a wonderful day